Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. Adrian Dunbar teased the return of Line of Duty during an appearance on Good Morning Britain on Wednesday. The actor, 65, played Ted Hastings in the BBC police drama which last aired in 2021 for almost a decade and is currently starring in the musical Kiss Me, Kate in London's West End. Joining hosts Susanna Reid and Ed Balls on the ITV show, Adrian admitted he is free to film after his stage show ends in September. When questioned on the possibility of another series, he replied, Well I think so, Vicky, McClure, think so, Martin, Comston, think so. Everybody thinks so. It'll be down to the BBC and Jed Mercurio I think, when and whether we do it. He added, hopefully, somebody will make a decision at some point. Ed asked how long it would take for a new series to be made, with Adrian explaining, first of all, Jed will have to write whatever he's going to write. That doesn't happen overnight. Then the BBC will have to make a decision on when we're going to shoot it, where we're going to shoot it. Hopefully we'll get back to Belfast, that's where we shot everything. It'll easily be a year, the end of next year. Maybe, he added. In May, Adrian shared his hopes for the series to come back before he gets any older. He told the Times, we all want it to come back. It's apposite that today should be there, Vicky McClure and Martin Compton shared, birthdays because I really don't want them getting any older. I don't want to get any older either because we don't want to be coming back when we're in wheelchairs. Ted Hastings with a Zimmer frame. After the sixth series line of duty fans across the nation were left fuming as the nail-biting series finale drew to a close and the mysterious antagonist H was finally unmasked. Season fans took to social media in their droves to share their frustrations as officers from the police anti-corruption unit AC-12 discovered-the-identity of the elusive fourth man, who had been colluding with the organized crime group, OCG, was none other than DSU Ian Buckles. It saw the words, fuming, disappointing, and underwhelming, all trend on social media in the aftermath of the show. And the disbelief it could be him was compounded by the way he was only caught because of his repeated misspelling of the word, definitely. Hardly the blunder of a hardened criminal mastermind. 